Hello everyone, welcome once more to Mathematics Pro. So today we have this inverse variation question. So if we read the question, y varies inversely as x. So this is y, this is the symbol of variation. Inversely means we need to write 1 over x. Next thing you need to know is that we can solve with this symbol of variation. So we are going to change it with equal k. With the equal sign, we can solve. So this will be written as y should be equal to k 1 over x. k is the constant of variation. Next, we can go further to say 1 times k is k. This implies y equals to k over x. Our first question is to express y in terms of x. So it means we should write a formula that has y and x. Okay, following this. So we can see that we have k here. k is the constant of proportionality or variation. The variation constant, we need to look for k. So in order to look for k, we have to look carefully at the table where x and y is given so that we can substitute the value of x, the value of y. This will enable us to get the value of k. So first step, let's rewrite the formula first. Y is equals to k over x. So here, x, y is 6, so I'll write 6, equals to k over x is 8. So if we cross multiply, we are going to have k will be equals to 6 times 8. k will be equals to 48. So this is the value of k. Now that we have the value of k, to write the formula of express y in terms of x, we just plug in the value here. So this will be y will be equals to k is 48, 48 over x. So we can see we have y in terms of x. The next thing to do is to complete the table. In order to complete this table, make sure that you write the formula because the formula is going to help you y equals to 48 over x so to complete this table we can see here x was given x was given y is not given so we just need to plug in the value of x in the given place so y will be equals to 48 over x x here is 24 so 48 divided by 24, y will be equal to 2. So we can complete it here. We have 2. Next, still by using the formula, here we can see that y is given and x is not. So we just plug in the value of y here so that we can get the value of x. So if we do that, this is y. So we are going to have 12 equals to 48 over x so if we cross multiply we are going to have 12 x should be equals to 48 so x will be equals to 48 divided by 12 48 divided by 12 is 4 so here we are going to have 4 so in this other section of the table you have been given x you're asked to find the value of y can you write your answer in the comment section below when x is 16 what is y thanks for watching please subscribe and share